Hey, Robin. Hi, Martha. <laughs> Hello, Design Forward Technology and Tools. It's Robin and Martha. Um, we are just here to give you a brief introduction for week one. Um, you are in the right place if you are a participant in Technology and Tools Design Forward Module Spring 23. Thank you for being here. We're very excited to, to have you here to be doing this for the next two weeks. Just want to talk really briefly about Design Forward and this module, you know, this module in particular, which is about the intersection of pedagogy and technology, is something that it feels like is always in the air around us these days, even um, when we don't realize it. So with everything that's gone in the last couple on the last couple of years, I think every instructor has had to think about technology differently, had to grapple with its impact on their, their classes, their teaching, their students in ways that were unexpected. Um, and now we just wanna take time to really um, kind of think about that a little bit intentionally, give, our, give ourselves time to really reflect upon how we use technology, why we use technology, how and how our, it impacts our students and, and our pedagogy. Yeah, so, I love that word intention. Yeah. I think as I was thinking about this module, that's just the key one that lights up in my brain. Um, one of the things that might be a little bit unnerving when you look at design forward is kind of like, where's the beginning, right? Um, so it's important to understand that this is a non-linear experience and everybody in a kind of choose your own adventure model will move through it a little bit differently. Um, so really the, the key thing is to look at what captures your attention and just start there, whether uh, that's with a reading or looking at some of the questions that are posted. Um, I, I think the readings are always a nice way to start because they give you some content that you can that you can latch on to. Um, the other thing about the nonlinear approach is that it also makes this program somewhat emergent, meaning it depends on how the participants proceed and what the participants bring to the table to see what the course is really going to deliver. Um, in that sense, it's really important that you do actively participate and it goes really fast. So uh, my suggestion is every single day, um, please hold yourself self-accountable um, to putting something into the module, whether you're annotating or answering a question or doing a workbook activity. Um, even if you only have a few minutes on a certain day, get in the habit of every weekday putting something in there. And, and then you'll find over the two weeks when you have more time uh, to really dedicate. But even when you only have a little time, check in, participate, see what your colleagues are doing. Um, and that'll be really important since the module is only two weeks long. Yeah, so you'll be hearing from us on Monday. Wait, you've already heard from us on Monday. <laughs> Today is Monday, Martha. It Today is Monday. Monday. Um, so this is the day to jump in. And one other thing that as Robin was talking, I wanted to say is that we do have a firm belief in, in not promoting busy work in any of our programming um, or, or activities or um workshops in, in the collab, and that extends to design forward as well. So if you're working on something, if you're reading, if you start annotating an article and it just isn't resonating with you, stop, pick something else, work on something else. If same thing with an activity, if none of them are really appealing to you, go to your portfolio and work on, write something, submit something, make something that is meaningful to you. Submit a question to discussion if none of them are ones that you're really interested in answering. We really want this to be meaningful and impactful for you. Um, and you're, you're end, really going, yeah. you, I, I think I was supposed to say this in my part, so I'm going back yep. to say that at the end of Design Forward, um, you'll be asked not only to evaluate the program, which is really important, Design Forward was partially invented by your colleagues um, through the course of their participation, uh, but we will also be asking you to evaluate your um your participation in the module. So that's when you'll really get a chance to reflect on what you learned. Um, and it's really important that you don't feel like you just jump through a bunch of hoops. So actively work to figure out what work is meaningful to you. And all along the way, if you have questions, problems, need help, um, the Teams channel is a great place to go. That way everybody benefits from the answers there, but you also are always welcome to send an email to Robin or me um, and let us know what you need. We'll get back to you as quickly as we can. Other than that, we will see you around the Design Forward website and um, have fun. Cheers, everybody. Bye.